Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on mensuration. A solid is made by cutting a small cone from a larger cone as shown in the above diagram. The height of the larger cone is given as 12.5 cm and the height of the solid is given as 5.5 cm. The diameter of the base of the larger cone is given as 9.2 cm. Work out the volume of the solid. Now in this question they have cut out a small cone out of the larger cone to get a solid which we can see here is the shaded region. So we have to find out what is the volume of this shaded region. Now let us label the diagram first. So here we have ADE the small cone which we have to cut out to get the solid BDEC from the bigger cone ABC. Now let us start by first finding out the radius of the larger cone. Now they have given that the diameter is 9.2 cm. So we can find out the radius of this bigger cone by dividing the 9.2 by 2. So we have 9.2 cm divided by 2 and that will give us 4.6 cm. So let us write over here we have the radius as 4.6 cm. Now we know the height of the bigger cone and the height of the given solid. But we do not know the height of the cone. But we can find out the height of the cone by subtracting the entire height by the height of the solid. So we get it as 12.5 minus 5.5. So we get it as 7 cm. That is the height of the smaller cone. Now we have the height of the smaller cone, we have the height of the bigger cone, we have the radius of the bigger cone but we do not know the radius of the smaller cone. So let us try to find it out by creating a relationship of similarity between these two cones. And for that I am going to draw a triangle which looks something of this kind. That is for example let me give here a letter O. So OE is actually the radius of the smaller cone. And here let me take it as P. PC becomes the radius of the bigger cone. And I have drawn a triangle relationship to show that these two triangles that is APC and AOE are similar triangles. Since AOP is a straight line, we have angle AOE as a 90 degree angle and angle APC is also 90 degree. And now in triangle AOE, we have angle A and in triangle APC also we have angle A. That means angle A becomes a common angle. So by using AA criterion we can say that the triangle AOE is similar to triangle APC. So let me draw it over here again. So you can see I have drawn the same two triangle APC and AOE separately. So we have angle P as 90 degree and angle O as 90 degrees and angle A is common. So since two angles are equal in both the triangles, the third angle also will be equal. So these both triangles become similar. Once we have created a relationship between the triangles, which is similarity, let us write down their respective sides values. So here they had given AP, that is the total height of the larger cone or the larger triangle as 12.5. And the smaller one we got it as 7 cm, that is the height AO. Let us write over here. The total height is 12.5 cm. And the small height of the cone was 7 cm. And we have the radius, which is PC, as 4.6. So let us write over here. PC is 4.6. But we do not know OE, because OE is the radius of the smaller cone. So let us take it as x in this case, which we got to find. Since both the triangles are similar, we can write the corresponding sides are proportional and write the relationship as AP over AO is equal to the corresponding sides PC over OE. Let us plug in the values for these sides. So AP we have 12.5 and AO we have as 7 and PC we have as 4.6 cm 
and OE we have taken as X. Now cross multiplying the values we get here as 12.5 times X is equal to 4.6 times 7. So now taking X as the subject we have 4.6 times 7 divided by 12.5. That will give us the value of X as 2.576. So this is the value of OE. Now this is an intermediate stage. So take a minimum of three decimal places or four decimal places to get maximum accuracy. So I've taken it to three decimal places. So this is the radius OE. Now once we have got the radius of this, let us try to work out the volume of this given solid. So to get the volume of the given solid, we have to subtract the smaller cone from the bigger cone. So we can write it over here as, so volume of the solid is volume of the larger cone minus the volume of the smaller cone. So I have drawn the larger cone over here and shown the radius and the height which was given and the radius and height of the smaller cone. Now volume of the cone is given by the formula 1 over 3 pi r square h. So now using this formula we can find out the volume of the solid as so 1 over 3 pi 4.6 square because the radius of the larger cone is 4.6 and the height is 12.5 minus 1 over 3 pi the radius of the smaller cone is 2.576 so we are going to square it and the height of the smaller cone is 7. So let us find out the value of the larger cone. So we get the volume of larger cone as 276.9837. So I am again going to take two three decimal places. So it will be 276.984. So 276.984. That is by rounding the value. Minus. Let us find out the volume of the smaller cone. So this gives us 48.6427. So I'm going to round it again to three decimal places. So it will be 48.643, 48.643. Now let us subtract these two values. So this will give us a value of 228.341. So 228.34. So we can just write it to two decimal places now. And since this is the volume of the solid, we have the unit as centimeter cube. So 228.34 is the volume of the above solid given. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And thanks for watching.